Chickens rarely fly. Yet, when we examine chicken meat and observe its body structure, we find remarkably developed chest muscles. Why are these muscles so well developed if chickens do not fly? Today, we'll dissect a chicken's breast meat. Ta-da! We've prepared a whole chicken to uncover the secrets of its meat. A quick overview of the chicken's body shows that this part is the modified wing of the front leg. Then there are the hind legs, known as chicken thighs. Looking at the belly side, you'll find the chest muscles, which we call the chicken breast. It's quite large, isn't it? This is the largest muscle in the chicken's body. The reason why not only chickens but also most birds have well-developed chest muscles is that these muscles are crucial when a bird flaps its wings. Thus, birds that fly long distances or flap more frequently tend to have more developed chest muscles. But why do chickens, which do not fly extensively, have such developed chest muscles? To uncover this mystery, we'll now dissect a chicken breast. Before extracting the chicken breast, we'll remove the thigh first. After making a slight incision with a knife between the thigh and the body, we remove the joint part and detach the end. The other side is detached in the same manner. We'll set aside the chicken thigh for now, as there's something I want to explain later. Now it's time for the chicken breast. In the center of the chest muscle is the breast bone, so we cut it in half and slice along the inner bone to separate the chest muscle as demonstrated here. One chicken yields two breast pieces. The chest muscles of the chicken have two distinctive features, color and size. First, to observe the color of the muscle, we cut and peel back the skin covering the surface. Beneath, you'll notice the whitish muscle that appears. This coloration is quite distinctive. Animal muscles are categorized in two main types, white muscle and red muscle. The color of the muscle is determined by the density of capillaries and the content of myoglobin. Red muscle, richer in capillaries and myoglobin, appears reddish, while white muscles, containing less of both, appears whitish. Since capillaries and myoglobin facilitate oxygen supply to the muscles, red muscle is suited for aerobic activities, like long-distance running, where moderate force is sustained over time. Conversely, white muscle is adapted for anaerobic activities that require strong, short bursts of energy like sprinting. Given this, it's straightforward to see why chicken meat is white. Chickens aren't capable of sustained flight. Instead, they can only flap their wings with great force for brief moments to cover short distances. Chickens have well-developed white muscles to support these brief bursts, which is why their muscles appear whitish. In contrast, wild birds that fly long distances have reddish pectoral muscles. Interesting, isn't it? Chickens also have red streaks in their thigh meat because they primarily walk on their hind legs rather than fly. So I peeled off the thigh skin to observe the muscles but they weren't as red as expected. This is because the chickens we commonly consume are not very active in their rearing environments, leading to poorly developed red muscles. And the expected reddish color is not as pronounced. The redness of the muscle is further reduced by the loss of blood from the capillaries during the slaughtering and processing stages. Notably, the pectoral muscles of chickens are abnormally developed compared to other birds. But this is not their natural state. Chickens have been selectively bred to develop large pectoral muscles, enhancing the yield of edible parts through breeding processes developed by humans. Similarly, dairy cows have been genetically enhanced to significantly boost their milk production just as chickens have been bred to increase their breast muscle mass. While filming, the chicken was fully prepped and stewed with vegetables and enjoyed by the staff. 
That's all for this video. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe to our channel. This was Fishy Science, where science unravels all things mysterious.